My name is Randy Nelson. I'm the author of The Second Decision. So the second decision is for every entrepreneur who made the first decision. And the first decision is when you started your company. As an entrepreneur, especially in today's day, you go online tonight, you start a company, you have to give yourself a title, so most entrepreneurs give themselves the CEO title right away. If the entrepreneur knew what they had to do to be qualified to run their business, would they still want to do it? Over the last 25 years, I've built two businesses. One is now 25, the other one's going on 13 years old. Both eventually sold. What I'm most proud of is that these companies have gone on and been consistently great and market-leading companies even after I left. 50% of businesses that are started are out of business within five years, 70% within 10. So I think the people that need to read the second decision are those who are at the point where they're past startup and they're at the point where they now have got, they have employees, they have a growth path, but maybe they're the one holding the company back at this point. This book, The Second Decision, is going to ask which role you want to take in the company going forward. You've got what I call three qualified entrepreneur choices. Number one is the leader. The leader is the person who's going to be the CEO. They want to take their company, get better, learn, and lead their company into the future. The second choice is the role player. The role players, they love their company, but they realize they're not the person to lead it. They need to put somebody else in charge. And the third choice is the creator. If you can learn what it takes to be a qualified entrepreneur in your own business, and you decide you're not the person to run it, then you put a qualified entrepreneur in that business. Number one, your business is going to be better. You go back and start a new company, which you love to do. You'll now have a second business, and you'll have the knowledge of what a qualified entrepreneur should be. I want entrepreneurs to understand that they don't need to know everything that they shouldn't know everything. They can surround themselves with great people. But mostly what I want them to do is make the decision. Do I want to lead? Do I want to be a role player? Or do I want to be a creator? All of them are good choices. What's not a good choice is to say I'm an entrepreneur and keep doing the same things and expect different results when your company needs better.